Jackie Hoffman is one of the funniest ladies in town who has stopped the show with her crazy shenanigans in big Broadway musicals like Hairspray, The Addams Family, and On the Town. This spring, she's back on the boards playing a harried mom in the new musical Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and also enjoying a juicy TV role as Joan Crawford's maid, Mama Sita, in the FX series Feud, Betty and Joan. Hoffman brings the laughs and opens up a tiny bit about her childhood and offstage life. You had to go to school with Rich. With like, ah. This was before this. Right. Ah, <laughs> ah, so they were just, ah, ah, without this. In this week's Show People. Jackie, hi. Hi, Thank Paul. you for coming here. I know you're in the midst of rehearsing a huge Broadway musical. So huge. I appreciate it. It's huge, right? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, yeah. it, it's like they, they decorate the outside yeah. like a factory. Right. It it's not Charlie and the Chocolate Tiny House. <laughs> It's factory. <laughs> and you are in the midst of teching this thing and getting it ready for audiences. Yes. And this show re relies a lot on visuals. People... Right. Less less this production than in, in the London production. We're going to have some spectacular, okay. spectacular, mind-boggling, like Willy Wonka says, schnoztastic stuff. Right. But... We're, there's so much talent in the human being areas that I, uh, we're not reliant on That's it. smart. Yeah. Jack O'Brien. Oh, Jack O'Brien. Jack O'Brien's like basically oh, rebooting. Oh, Jack O'Brien. You, you adore this man. I'm very lucky. You adore this man. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the best. And Jack O'Brien also gave you a big break in Hairspray. It was yes. a big break, right? Yes. And for, uh, that was sort of your introduction to Broadway. Right. He didn't give it to me. <laughs> I you, earned it. Haven't you actually been workshopping this for like seven years? Is it only seven? <laughs> I thought since before Roll Dahl wrote it, we've been doing it. You've been doing it yes, all the time. Yes, well, a very long time. First Be with, with Sam Mendes, okay. and God, every actor in New York has touched this thing in some wow. way or another. Okay. And obviously Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman, yes. you also worked on, on hair, worked with on Hairspray. Yes. They have written uh, new songs. They have written new and songs. It's a blend of some songs we love from yes. the movie. Have you seen the piece grow? Has the piece changed a lot? Yeah, I've seen it evolve. I didn't see the London production, right. which they wanted me to do, but then they didn't want to pay for me to go out there. Really? Um, that's what they'd say, yeah. It's usual with my career that the creatives love me, but the people with money are like, eh. <laughs> and you play Mrs. TV. Yes, which, which couldn't, I'm a TV addict, so it's so perfect. And her storyline, Mike is her, her son. Mike TV is her Michael son. And Michael Wartella. Yes, play, right? oh, who we delicious I remember him from so Tucker funny. Blasting and Wicked. Right. Did you know him before? I did not know him, okay. but I heard, oh, he's in Wicked. He's great. He's great. Well, somebody got seen for Wicked. <laughs> and, and Joe. Uh, <laughs> he's TV obsessed. I saw the London production. Yes, and I remember now it's been updated to okay. touch the children of today. So he's also, he's video game, computer, Phones, all phone okay. obsessed. He's tech Devices. obsessed. Tech obsessed. Okay. So it's really, it's up to the minute. And what's going on with Mrs. TV? Did she she likes the booze? Maybe what's her deal? She likes the liquid. She likes the solids, the <laughs> pills. So it was such a stretch for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, she's she's got a she's got an a hole son to contend with. Right. So she she's got a lot on her plate. I think she's a single parent. Okay. And it's a showy role. I remember it from London. It's a very showy role. Well. Which is nice for you. I'm glad you have this. Little platform. I'm showy people. Showy people, showy people on show people. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited for you. This is this is nice. Are you are you excited to do it and get it up? And I am excited to do it. It's so it shouldn't be so new now, but now that we're we're finally at this stage, it's still really new. So there's a lot of work I have to do. Right. I mean, I'm excited, but you know, when I get more things figured out, right. You know, then I'll then I'll really. No, I naturally have to wonder. You've, you've created this thing on Broadway of um, ad-libbing. Right. It became a thing at Hairspray. It became a thing. It, it's a thing. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing of yours in shows. Adam's Family. Right. Audiences and sit the there. And the doorman already at the Lunt yesterday. I was at this theater for five minutes yesterday. You gonna ad-lib? Like, oh my God. I don't know if I want to subject myself to that hell again, but you never know. Well, I felt really bad because I thought, God, Jackie has to work extra hard to come up with these things. It is extra hard. It's like it's a whole extra you know, job for you, you. Yeah. So will Mrs. TV have flexible, I, there's flexible a, lines? Yeah, there's a, <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't want to commit to that, but, okay. but we may, I think moments may be created. Okay. Okay. That's fun. And what, how's Christian Borrow? Oh my Willy God. Willy Wonka himself. Yeah. He's so funny. He pisses me off. 
<laughs> He's that kind of funny. I bet that, that you don't encounter that often. I mean, you're no, such a I funny person. No, I did with Nathan. Nathan was Nathan so, Lane, damn yeah. it, he pisses me off. You know, and now I have that with Christian. So there's something about the Lunt and really funny men. Is it nice to have that sort of on stage energy to play with? It is. Do you have moments with I, him? He's, you know, he's at the, he's the helmsman, really. He's, right. he's, he drives the whole thing. Right. So now we have such a strong captain. It's, it's kind of great and it inspires all of us and it gets us really excited about the piece yeah because if Willy Wonka is a snooze then we're all in trouble but he is so damn funny mm -hmm. and it really we learned like I spent years at Second City and we learned that right. you know you're as good as your partner and your partner right. don't be jealous of the funny person because they're gonna make you better and right. Christian like really makes you better you're on your toes right and you're at the Lanfontaine as you mentioned and this is where you had your Adams family triumph Yes. This okay. Is, this Triumph is, the, is a good word. This is where you took uh, Broadway.com of viewers backstage oh, with your vlog, the Adam's, vlog. The Adam's Family Home Videos, the, yes, Home Movies. The teenagers still tweet about it. Yeah, you did 69,000 episodes, a lot of episodes. <laughs> yes, it, it, yeah, it, it ran was, multiple seasons. It, it was got great. picked yeah. up. Yeah, it got renewed. It got picked <laughs> up. It, yeah, it was a thing. We love it. We miss it. It was great. You and fan mail and all, all this stuff and Nathan Lane avoiding the camera, all that stuff. Uh -huh. it, was all, it was all great. I, I adored it. So, so thank you for that. Are you in the same dressing room? No, I am not. I have to Is, walk up more stairs Who's now. in your dressing room? I don't know. I haven't looked yet. I okay. was there for such a brief okay. time yesterday. I got my fire safety rules and I evacuated. <laughs> <laughs> Do they take you to the theater and they, is that what they do? They teach you the rules? Is that like one of the things that's that has to happen? That's the first thing always in your oh, orientation when you're on the Broadway. First thing. You know, they pretend it's safety first, but you know, if they kill you for a bit, they probably don't care. God bless them, the, the firemen and the cops who are now working in the, you know, protecting us and keeping yeah. us safe for, you know, two things. There's a security risk. You must maintain your exit, go out the back, make sure you have clearance. Unless there's a lockdown situation, you stay for staying in the building. You know, so that's, I love that stuff. I can't get enough. And being New York Times Square, that happens. There's like bomb threats and stuff. We, outside. during the yeah. Adams family, I remember during the Adams car bomb in Times Square. Right, yeah. Now, for Jackie Hoffman fans like myself, this is actually a really exciting time of life because you're also on TV every Sunday night. You are on Feud, the, the FX Ryan Murphy show about Joan Crawford and Betty, Betty Davis. Davis. And you are Mama Sita. I am Mama Sita. And I am obsessed with this show. I, I think it's beautiful. I'm so happy you're part of it. You were already part of the Ryan Murphy family, right? Because you did the new normal. Yes, good um, memory. And that, that was that was like, what? A six, failure. That was. <laughs> It was a failure, but it was a while ago. But is Ryan Murphy a fan? Is he a Jackie Hoffman fan? Or? I like to think so. He is gay after all. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope so. I mean, because he uses you, the same people over and over again. So let's hope he's a fan. Yeah, he has like a stable of actors, which uh, is which is amazing. Yes, he does. Because I'm already picturing that you can be on the Charles and Die season, which is supposed to be next. Who yeah, could you play? my agents told me that's a no go, but um. we'll see. Queen Mother, I no? I don't know if there are any mamacitas in the kid. Queen Mom. Why not? I, I, Absolutely. <laughs> I've learned the accent from the crown. <laughs> I would love of that. The DVD <laughs> of the crown. <laughs> so Mamacita is Joan Crawford's real life maid. She's a, this is a real woman. Yes. I, I looked her up. The, yes. She has, she has a real name. She is a True her, existing person. Right. She was German. She was German. And there's like yeah. a, there's a famous story Joan Crawford wrote about why she called her mamacita. Right. She went uh, Brazil on a va we ex they, She explains it actually to Hedda Hopper, played beautifully by Judy Davis uh -huh. in a later yes. episode. And yeah. She was on a trip to some Latin American country and they she heard the term mamacita, papacita, and she was just named me like a dog. <laughs> and she, she tested it on me and I responded. Right, but her actual name was Anna Marie Brinke. Anna Brinke. Marie Brinke, Brinke yeah. German lady. Yes, uh, whose maiden name was Hoffman. What? With two Fs, one N. I looked up, it says N-E-E -E -E Hoffman, which means that's the maiden name. Yeah. So it was two Fs, one N Hoffman. So maybe she was Jewish, which I like to that's think amazing. so, because if not, she was a Nazi. <laughs> she was a Nazi of the house. Yes, looks a like. house she, Nazi. Yeah, definitely a house Nazi. By the way, congratulations on your billing. Great billing on that show. Oh, it's the alphabet, but thank you. <laughs> they call it a front card in the business. <laughs> Is it really alphabetical? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't Davis, know. Hoffman. Yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> right. That's why Moline is later. You think they wouldn't put him first? Yeah, I thought you negotiated yeah, for great Yeah, like Stanley billing. Tucci's after me. Right. That, that happened. 
<laughs> All right. Well, I want to ask you about some of the other ladies on this show with you. but I uh, bet you do. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with Jackie Hoffman. We're back with Jackie Hoffman of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and FX It's Feud, my new favorite TV show. So you share the screen with Susan Sarandon and Oh my God, Jessica Lange. Jessica I, I, Lange. I'm like, like a life. Ninety percent of my stuff is with Jessica. It's great, and you're mostly with Jessica Lange because yeah. you play you play her mama Sita. Right. Does it blow your mind that you are now sharing this TV show and this the screen time and these moments and with time these? and intimate time? Yes. I mean, I, I had to keep repeating my life to myself. Now you're unzipping Jessica Lange out of a dress. <laughs> right. Now you're touching Jessica Lange's face. Now you're getting shit thrown at you by Jessica Lange. <laughs> like I kept having a like, I couldn't believe my life. Now you're sitting outside at a location by a space heater eating Thai food with Jessica Lange. Crazy. I mean, it was, I, it was crazy. So when you meet people like that, do you play it cool? Or do you no, immediately I'm let her know idiot. like, I'm freaking <laughs> out there. <laughs> So good, <laughs> ah, you know. And was and she, I never know when to stop. And was I always, she incredible? It's this, she was great. I, it, I thought because I knew we were going to be working so closely together, and we had never met, yeah. that I sent an email to the production for her. I said, "Could you please forward this to Jessica?" And That's I said, I "I'll be playing your maid, and I look forward to having you scream and throw shit at me." <laughs> and so, you know, that first day of shooting, she came over to me and said. Thank you for your email, and she hugged me. Oh my God, that was smart because you immediately then had like a little nice connection. Uh, yeah, so it wouldn't be awkward. So you're not thrown together. Yeah, and watching her do Joan Crawford, oh. it, it is really amazing when you when you see both ladies take on these characters. Mm -hmm. What's it like being in the room watching her perform that? Uh, educational, to say the least. Nothing I could ever synthesize because I could never be that good. Right, but just fulfilling, rewarding, yeah. uh, astonishing just to watch. And she would always, and she would, oh, well, well, why? You know, trying to find the truth to a scene which I never bother with. <laughs> Ask Jack O'Brien. Why would I be doing, she wouldn't say this, why? And then they would keep it and she would turn in the most incredible version. I'm like, what is she even wow. speaking? Because she just did the most brilliant freaking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I I I I couldn't get over her, and it gets. Keep, stay tuned. Okay. Because it's Jessica Light now, and it's gonna get. It okay. gets intense. Did you get to make her laugh? Like in between? Did, did was. Oh, we had moments. I yeah. I broke her up a few times. Yeah. It must be. It must be cool to be able to like have those moments with with somebody like that. Oh yeah. And then I also read on your Twitter, which your Twitter is amazing. Everyone should follow Jackie Hoffman on Twitter. You had you talked politics with Susan Sarandon, I, <laughs> which you know it's so funny because Susan Sarandon has such I a. I tried to avoid it. That was everybody's first question about her. And said, did, did she go off with the political stuff? And I would avoid it. Right. But, you know, like then she would prattle on about it, and then I happened to be we're all freaking sitting together. You know, I kept like you weren't allowed to take pictures, but I'm like with the with the director's chair, Susan Sarandon, Jessica Lange, Jackie Hoffman. It was like crazy. <laughs> I had a chair with my name on it. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I stole the. You get to keep it. You, oh, you get to keep. I, you tap the, the back. Claw. Yeah. Awesome. So, oh, I didn't ask. I didn't get to keep it. <laughs> I took it. Are there any other feuds that you think he should take on? Maybe and cast you in. Have you thought of any other feud? If this is going to become a thing now, he wants to do a oh, series wow. of feuds. Are there oh, any great feuds? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, in my ear and Yasser Arafat. Oh my God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ryan, there you go, <laughs> season three. I, I I pitched American Horror Story Warsaw Ghetto, but I don't think he's biting. <laughs> can, we, can we go back to Bayside Queens? I want to know a little what? bit about Little Jackie. Can we talk oh, about Little Jackie? God. I knew you were going to be that way. Aren't we past our time already? Yeah, yeah it's, it is that time. So can we do that? Can we talk about Go you ahead, a... <laughs> whatever it takes to just wind it up. <laughs> and you have what, three siblings? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think about it. I had to think about it. Where yeah. in the line are you? I'm the baby. Oh, the baby. Can't okay. You tell the most attention seeking. So, but so the bit, yeah. So, so there was a lot of that. Like, look at me, look at me. Yes, they Th looked at me plenty. <laughs> I was very spoiled, but I was still. It's never enough. Never you know? enough. Okay, and then you moved to Long Island. Is that what happened? Uh -huh. Great neck. Yeah. Great neck, and that's but so not rich. 
It's a rich it's town. It's a rich area. So you had to go to school with rich. With like, ah, ah, ah. this was before this. Right. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so they were just ah, 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 without this. <laughs> Hateful, horrible people. Horrible people. You don't keep in, you're not Facebooking oh God, with no. them. You, there's, you don't have like no, a, a great no, neck on, no friend Facebook, circle on Facebook. No, nothing. None no. of that. Okay. You end, ended up playing Mazeppa in Gypsy. Is that correct? No, Electra. You played Electra? What they did what was happened? I didn't want to wear because I was heavier in high school. Uh -huh. So I didn't want to wear, they didn't, they knew not to put me in Tessie Tura's bikini. Okay. But they gave me. Who has the most lines? They gave me Tessie's Tessie, lines yeah. and maybe Ms. Oh, they gave me Tessie's lines, but they let me be Electra so I could be fully clothed. Like I had a gown so with you lit my up. breasts and crotch lit Did up. Did your breasts light up? Yes. Okay. Was that your first stage production? In, not in... In high school, I did other stuff. I started okay. when when we moved to Long Island. I started to get involved with high school community theater. Okay. And played Mrs. Peachum in Three Penny Opera oh, okay. at a production that Lada Lenya saw. Wow! And she spoke to us after. Amazing. I, I, I like it. I usually I leave and I didn't leave. <laughs> Maybe she was my psychiatric model for Mama C. I know. I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely felt the urge, you th and you saw theater and you went, "Yes, this is where this is a good thing for me. This is an outlet for me." Yeah, I kind of knew from like little. Okay. That's all I wanted. I would ask my parents when I was little, you know, to make me, you know, if I could be like a child actor. And they were wise enough to stay away from that. But you ended up in Chicago. Right. Did you go to Chicago because of Second City? Correct. Okay. So what, you like auditioned for it here? How no, does Second City I, work? Is it, a, is it a comedy troupe or is it a... Yes. You audition out there. Okay. And a massive bunch of people show up. I'm sure. And uh, it's just an improv... Frenzy, and I remember the very first day I sat there, I came up the steps and looked at the historic flag, and I, I almost got hit. I was so excited that I ran into the middle of the street and almost got hit by a cab, oh and Gene Siskel was a passenger in the cab. But how do you know that? Because the cab stopped? Because I looked, yeah. And you well, went, it stopped so Gene it wouldn't Siskel. hit me. If it kept going, we wouldn't probably be, it would be a different story. Oh my God. Then I'd be in a, sitting here in a wheelchair. Oh my God. Yeah, so G, I was like, oh, Gene Siskel's in the back of the cab that almost hit me because I ran across the street because I was so excited to see Second City. <laughs> and I've looked at the historic flag that I'd read about and then I, I came in there and we're all, it's all, they see women and men separately, like, okay. I, like in an Orthodox synagogue. Mm -hmm. So I was sitting in the lobby waiting and I remember Richard Kind came out into the lobby and said, all right, who's got the biggest chance? So that was his. <laughs> Why, was, was he I was like, if, 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 like if that's all running? it took to get in, <laughs> but it it was a lot harder. It was a lot harder than having a big set of hooters. So then you were part. Is this is it that then you were I part got, of a company and then you were doing sketch comedy? But they hired comedy? me because they thought I had something to learn. They said we'll put you in the training center and you can intern here and you don't have to pay for it. Okay. But so I just had to live there and they let me work at the box office and work my way up through the ranks. Okay. And then I was in the touring company and did the main stage companies and and it was an invaluable experience. Yeah, and you ended up being a big star of the of the company, correct? I mean, you won a Jefferson well, Let's award. not get crazy. I wasn't People the big star of anything. I, you yeah, won an award. I won an award. Yes. So the, the Sedaris. Amy and her brother yeah, David, Amy and David moved were here, and they, they're called the Talent Family, and they did plays that David and Amy wrote. But were they part of Second the name, City? The Amy and I knew each other at Second City, yes. Were there other people we know from Second City? Yeah, like a lot more people, more famous than I am, and you're not going to make me list them, are you? You're not going to do that, are I you? you? Is that what this to. is? What's, what's Stephen Colbert like? Oh, okay. What's Steve Carell like? What's all these people who are doing a lot better than you? What are they like? Don't do that to me. I'm not going to do okay, that good. to you, Jackie. I'm only interested so, in So yes, you. Amy, who's also, you know, what's Amy like? I don't want to know what any of those people are like. I want to know what your husband's like. Aww. Can we talk about your husband? You have a very cute husband. I do. When did you guys get married? 2008. We okay. knew each other. We met in 2001 and got married in 2008. What's he like? He plays Adorable. trumpet? Adorable. Obviously very, like Michael Musto says, obviously very patient. <laughs> uh, uh, he does. He's a trumpet player. Okay. What's your home life like? Well, thank God we have a bedroom door with foam on it that can close. So like, <laughs> you know, doubles on bass. He loves bass. Does he like theater? He loves his records. He does. I've he came from a non-theater, okay. very hetero jazz, okay. Michigan background, and I turned him on to Sondheim and Broadway scores, and and he he loves it. He loves beautiful music, no matter where it comes uh -huh. from. Were you always good at dating? 
God, no. So how'd you land this guy? Well, how'd, you, I, how'd you sort of he, win him over? Well, we're getting so personal, aren't we? Yeah, why not? Because uh, I don't want to. <laughs> um, At least I'm not asking about Colbert. He, yeah. Anything's better than that. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was playing in a, uh, a club called Birdland, which is yeah, right here in course. the theater district. And I was pondering going to yet another Jewish singles event. And uh, I said, I'm not going to go to another Jewish singles event. I'm going to do something I want to do. And I just like random. Or is it? Right. Picked this out of the phone book and saw, oh, OK. And then I got there and it was like a, a, an epiphany. I saw it was like a, a like a Latin Afro-Cuban jazz orchestra, Arturo Farrell, who's okay. very successful. And it was, and I just saw like about twenty paunchy straight guys, and I'm like, why haven't I done this? this <laughs> you is, met him. It, it was yeah, that's and that was it. That's all she wrote. And that's that is a lesson sometimes, right? Yes. Like maybe just See, I'm yourself. saving I'm saving your viewers a lot of time. <laughs> exactly. Listen to Jack. Jazz clubs. Uh, you, one more you, thing you I want to know. You won't hit rich, but you'll hit adorable. <laughs> one more thing I want to know. Lady Gaga, you, you did that oh. great Alejandro video the, uh -huh. with your old Lady Gaga. Yes. And it was kind of the grandma makeup from Adam's Family. Yes, it was. And it has saved a buck there. Six or seven million views. It Does it? It's, it? Yes, it's huge. Was there ever any sort of reaction from Lady Gaga? Oh, herself? Yeah. No, I don't. Huge celebrities don't know I'm alive. I, she might have seen it. It's a lot. It has a uh, lot of maybe. views. Maybe I like to think so. Yeah, I like to think I so. I performed too. on gay cruise ships, and I I opened with every. They all have video and stuff, and I was like, I'm not going to just do traditional. I'm going to use some video. So I threw it in for the gays. Yes, you did it for the gays. Yeah, you do a lot for the gays. I do it. Well, they've done a lot for me. Is that, is I'm that, lost without them. You're lost without the gays. Yeah, it's 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 pointless. In that vein. Please, like, the gays should show up to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because it's not just for children! Not just for children. I need, I need you in we, that audience. You need the gays, right. You're worried about just having a bunch of yeah. suburbanites and their it's like kids. A, yeah, yeah. Right. Which it will probably dissolve to. Which is not a bad thing, producers. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, but it's funny enough. It's, it's child-friendly and gay funny. All right, we'll be right back, and you're going to hate me because we're going to play a little game. Uh, we'll be right back with Jackie Hoffman. And we're back with the hilarious Jackie Hoffman. Hi, Jackie. Hi. So uh, we're just going to play a little game now that I like to call Jackie, Jackie, or Jackie. Okay. Very, very creative name. What's going to happen is I'm going to read you some quotes, and you are going to tell me whether or not the quote came from Jacqueline Kennedy, Ona Kennedy Onassis, Jackie O, martial arts star Jackie Chan, or Jackie Hoffman, the hilarious Jackie Hoffman, with great hair in this photo, by the way. So I'm going to give you these paddles. And it's going to be real, super easy, and so just we'll, we'll just play along. It's going to be fun. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you, are you good at remembering things you've actu actually said? I often don't. I assume you'll probably get yours, but let's just let's just try. Let's All see right. what happens. Okay, ready? My mind is my worst enemy. <laughs> Incorrect. You actually said that. Jack <laughs> Jackie Hoffman <laughs> actually said that. Well, obviously, there's Alzheimer's setting in, so my mind is my worst enemy. <laughs> Keep going. We're doing great. Let's try again. There are two kinds of women. Those who want power in the world and those who want power in bed. <laughs> That's actually Jackie O. But we can think about it. Oh, she went through it. You know, okay. she yeah, you know, think about her life. Okay, but so far, you know, we'll we'll just we'll just keep going. Yeah. I have a lot of faith. There are no you. prizes anyway. Okay. I want to show audiences that I can act. <laughs> It's actually Jackie Chan, but maybe you said it too. Ah, I'm sure I'm bad. Okay, okay. I'm good for some things, bad for a lot of things. <laughs> actually, Jackie Chan. Oh, so, wow. So, I'm, so far, I'm, we're over. Has any guest ever gotten sorry. everything wrong? Yeah, yeah, but you're going to get some. I, I have a no, lot of faith sorry. in you. I'm bad at a lot of things. Look at the hair, though. It's so good. I'm good at asking questions that other people won't ask I out of fear games. of sounding I hate stupid. Games so much. I'm going to, uh, what? I'll read it again. I'm good at asking questions that other people won't ask out of fear of sounding <laughs> stupid. Jackie Hoffman, there you go. Ding, ding, ding. Good job. Yeah, it was me. That's a, that was really hard. <laughs> okay, don't try to be like Jackie. There is only one Jackie. Study computers instead. Oh, wow. I can't hold up two. Uh... <laughs> yes, correct. Yay! Jackie Chan. Here we go. Here we go. We're good. We're, we're doing good two now. Two in a row. 
I don't think I'm ugly. I know I'm ugly. <laughs> Jackie, what's that about? That is correct. That is correct. That is co <laughs> Made me laugh. <laughs> It's painful for other people. <laughs> okay, everything bothers me. I'm a person who is bothered by everything. Wow, that sounds like me, but just go with that. Uh, okay, it was, it was you. Me. It was you. I'm gonna I'm gonna count that as a correct because you did know it was you. If you want things to be right, you have to do them yourself. Jackie, oh, look at this. Yeah, you know your Jackie's. Nothing makes me more determined to succeed than someone telling me something's impossible. Jackie Chan. Yes, correct. I'm on a roll. Is it over soon? It was pretty soon. I had such big plans and dreams before I realized how tired I was. <laughs> That's a Jackie like Hoffman. <laughs> That's cute. On Twitter, yeah. Follow yeah, her on Twitter. I never remember, yeah. Follow her on Twitter. I am happiest when I am alone. Ooh. Correct, Jackie O. Sex is a bad thing because it rumples the clothes. Jackie O. Okay, one more. My favorite. Boy, it didn't bother her when her husband was sleeping with everybody else. <laughs> Guess she didn't want her clothes rumpled. Can't bring booze into Pantages. How am I going to get through the king and I? <laughs> Who, like, yeah, like Jackie Chan said that. You got 10 correct, actually. Oh, out of 100. Yeah, <laughs> you did very good. So Charlie and the Chocolate Factory starts previews March 28th. 28th. Lundfontein Theater. Go check out Jackie Hoffman. She's Mrs. TV because her son is obsessed with TV. It's a very clever name. Thank you so much for being here. A pleasure. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.